Welcome to a Quest for Metal. Today it's a new year, it's a new ranking. I asked you guys what band you wanted me to rank in 2021, which is crazy. Where the fuck has the time gone? You guys voted for Marduk, so here we are. Marduk's discography, it's a long one, they got a lot of albums, and they have a quite consistent discography. There's not a too many albums I dislike, to be honest. There's only about one, maybe one slash two that I'm kind of on the fence of. The rest, fucking smooth sailing. So, before I get on with my list, let me know yours down below. What's your favourite Marduk album? What's your least favourite? And how do you pronounce it? Is it Marduk? Is it Marduk? Let me know and let's get started. So coming in last for me is Victoria, the latest album by Marduk. And it suffers... Uh, it suffers kind of sound production. The sound quality on this one is really shit compared to a lot of the others. And I know it's black metal, but... The older shit sounds better, which doesn't make sense to me. Like, the older shit, like Dark Endless, sounds better than this. What's going on? What happened to the production on this one? And the songs on it kind of are, are a bit flat. Coming off the heels of the amazing, amazing front Schwein, which is probably not at all how you say that, but... That album was fucking phenomenal. Coming in with Victoria just kind of goes out on a whimper, really. It goes out on a whimper. Songs like Werewolf just didn't get me with the kind of children's choir kind of singing in it as well. Yeah, this album is easily the worst for me. It's easily coming in last. So, yeah, let's move on. Next up is La Grande Dance Macabre. This is the only other one I'm kind of on the fence of. I don't think it's as bad as Victoria. Uh, it's def well, it's definitely not as bad as Victoria, but it's not as great as some of the others, and it's kind of in that trio where it was war, blood, and death. This is the death album, and I thought it'd be like the heaviest, the most evil, most brutal, but no, no, I think Nightwing and Panzer, fucking, <laughs> we'll get to those two, we'll get to those two, especially that one, holy shit. Those kick you in the balls, don't stop until they explode. This one is just kind of... It's okay. It's an okay album. Some cool melodies in songs like Azrael, but overall, the other two do it better. Um, the other two albums just do it better. Nightwing does it better, and Panzer Division Marduk. Holy shit. Next up, these albums I really enjoy. World Funeral is next. A massive step up from La, da La Grande Dance Macabre, which is really hard to say fast. Try it. Massive step up. Underrated album. I know it's coming in really low on the list, but... I still think this album's really fucking enjoyable. I think it is a massive step up from Le Grand Dance that it came straight after. So I think they improved in every fucking sense of the word. They improved in pretty much every way. It's more memorable. It's heavier. It's more catchy. I like World Funeral. I just think that there's other albums better. So this is the album where it's kind of like, it's low down. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't listen to it. So I think you should listen to all the albums of a band's discography and make your own mind up, but this one especially is super underrated, and if you have this higher, you know, good for you. This one, it's going here for me at the moment. Maybe it'll rise higher soon. Maybe. But there's more to come. Big Angel is next, a one that a lot of people love, and I really enjoy it as well. This is a fast one. This is a heavy one. This is intense. And again, it grabs your balls, doesn't let go until you scream in, and then it turns it into mushy peas. <laughs> and it is, yeah, it's a heavy and fast album. Marduk is really known for the kind of intensity. The probably the heaviest black metal band. Probably the heaviest black metal band. And if you want to go like, well, go on then, show me. Play them Plague Angel. Play them Panzer Division Marduk. Play them Heaven Shall Burn When We Are Gathered. Play them any of those kind of albums and they'll instantly be like, yeah, you're right. This is probably the heaviest black metal band. Just fucking fact. This album's intense all the way through, but I do think other albums, like the aforementioned ones, do it better. So, let's move on. Next is Wormwood, which is a fan favourite. Loads of people love this. It's a classic. People have it really high. It's kind of sacrilege having it a bit lower. But, personal taste and all that, I think this is a bit overrated. There's some songs I'm not too keen on on this album, but, you know, the songs that do hit, they hit fucking hard. This fleshy void, oh my god, the melodies in that, so goddamn good. It's got an oppressive atmosphere throughout the whole thing, but I do think that Rom does it better. I do think that it does it better. And it came before it. So, it kind of, this kind of builds upon that atmosphere that Rom created, 
but I just don't think it holds a candle to ROM. I like the longer songs and definitely an enjoyable album. It's definitely a really good album and I can see why people love it, but I don't understand why ROM isn't held at the high regard. So, you know, fuck it. This is going here. And that means ROM 512 is next. The album that I prefer, you know, a lot more, to be honest. This kind of had that mid-level sound, these songs, like very long songs, some fast songs in between, the oppressive atmosphere is here, it's darker, it's moodier, Leveling Dust is a fucking awesome song, and it kind of feels, some of the songs kind of feel like a black and roll tinge to them, like Amigo Mortis, if that's how you say it, which is another longer one. Yeah, it's got that kind of fun feeling to that one, so yeah, this one is a great mid-paced album by Marduk, and I enjoy that, you know, I don't just want it all blasting in my face all the time. Sometimes you want a great mid-paced album, and I think this delivers. So, ROM 512, holy shit, this is underrated. Next up, Serpent Sermon, holy shit, Souls for Belial, blah 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 blah, Souls for Belial, I'm turning into fucking that character from South Park. Souls for Belial, amazing song, this has so many good classics on this album, Serpent Sermon, holy shit, I mean, come on. This is another kind of mid-paced album, but this is probably the like the most well-rounded, aside from another, which we'll get to, but this is one of the most well-rounded Marduk albums. I'd say give this to beginners. For people who wanted to get into Marduk, I'd say give Serpent Sermon, and I'd also say give Front Schwein, which we'll get to later. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this album. It sprinkles in the fast, the melodic, the mid paced the catchy, some of the song, catchy songs Marduk's done is on this album. I think Serpent Sermon is a fantastic album. Next up is Dark Endless, the debut album. This is frantic, it's heavy, it's more like death metal. It's kind of similar to Dark Throne's Soulside Journey. And while I think that's a little bit better, slightly, this is still fucking kicks you in the ass. It still kicks you in the ass. And you love it for that. This is just that pure, raw intensity, aggressiveness that you want from early black metal, and it fucking delivers. And if you want black and tinged with death, Dark Endless is a classic and it's a must. You know, it's a must listen. This is one of the ones where you just have to listen to it. Call yourself a fan, go listen to Dark Endless. The album art as well, perfection. Hoo hoo hoo, next up is Nightwing. This is the blood part of the trilogy. We've had death with La Dance, We've had death, now it's time for blood. This is intensity all the fucking way through. It's crazy, the screaming is just out of this world. It came right after uh, Heaven Shall Burn, when we are gathered, which, <clears throat> you know, is a classic, but people don't give the love to Nightwing, because Nightwing is just as fucking good, just as fucking good, which is why it's here. And that means next, is Heaven Shall Burn when we are gathered. I mean, this is kind of like a two-parter. Nightwing and Heaven Shall Burn, pretty much on the same level for me. They got that intensity, they got the screaming down to a point, they got just the epicness, so I'd put them on the same level, but I have to kind of give one the edge, and Heaven Shall Burn has got that Night in the Bald Mountain <laughs> fucking segment, which I adore, you know, from fucking Fantasia, the big fucking demon, which I always thought the cover of Opus Nocturne looks like that demon from Fantasia, but we'll get to that soon. Love the songs on this album. This album is when Marduk went from, you know, kind of typical black, kind of melodic kind of black, to straight on heavy fucking intensity black metal through and through. This is the shifting point. Heaven Shall Burn is the shifting point, and holy fuck, the goblins are all looking surprised because we were surprised when it came out this intense and listening to it today, listening to it today it's still fucking eye melting so next up number four is front screen this one the next these next four real hard time which one was best i could have easily put this one top this is the perfect beginner album this is the perfect album for new people it's like it's got mid-paced songs, catchy songs, intense songs, everything Marduk is about is on this fucking album. Africa, the blonde beast. I mean, come on, every song is memorable. Literally every fucking song on French Schwein is memorable. Oh, French Schwein, I don't know how you say it, but I adore this album. It's a newer one as well. It came right before Victoria. 
And it's one of the best. It's one of the best fucking Marduk albums. And it came this late in their career. What fucking crack are they smoking? Give me some. Hell yes. This album is just a perfect culmination. It's kind of like Paradise Lost Obsidian. The perfect culmination of all their work. This is like that. Perfect album. I wish it was in my top three, but there can only be three. So let's move on to them. So number three is those of the Unlight. Amazing artwork. Amazing artwork. This improved upon Dark Endless so much. This is that melodic black metal kind of second wave, you know? And it looks like they're gonna charge the pack. This album is more slower, it's more methodical, it's more melodic. The melodies will be stuck in your head, just like another one we'll get to. The songs are catchy, the songs are evil. The first couple of albums are evil, and this is probably one of the most evil. I adore all the melodies, catchy as fuck. It's, it's an amazing album, those of the Unlight. It's catchy as fuck. I almost wanted to put like Front Tween a bit higher than the next ones I'm gonna talk about, because a lot of bands kind of do black metal like this. Not a lot of bands do black metal like Front Tween, and another album we'll get to, but it's for personal taste. I just really enjoy this album a lot, so it's going to go a bit higher. Number three. So number two is Opus Nocturne, and yes, I had this in my top 20 black metal albums list, because I loved it. It's got that signature black metal sound, it's a classic for a fucking reason, the artwork is iconic, the songs are iconic, it's got that signature fucking black metal sound. If you have not heard this album, what are you doing, son? Go listen to Opus Nocturne, it's fucking perfect. But... One album, blow it out of the fucking water. Blow it out of the fucking water with its tank. Um, we all know what that is, that'll come soon. But, again, this album is a 10 out of 10. It was one of my favourites. One has surpassed it, though. One has just surpassed it. This is the fans of Emperor, Dark Throne, Burzum, you know, all the classics, Philosophum, In the Night Side Eclipse. You like all them? Go listen to Opus Nocturne. It should be sitting right there in your collection, alongside all those amazing albums like Blazing the Northern Sky and shit. Right in there. If you don't have it in there, what are you doing? It's a classic. It should be one. I love it. But let's get to number one, which is Panzer Division Marduk. And holy shit, this just fucking blows your brain up. This took the intensity and shit from Heaven Shall Burn when we are gathered and just dialed it up to fucking 13 and then broke the knob and then they threw it away and they stuck a fucking screwdriver in and I turned it up to 100. That's how intense this album is. It's like you're actually going to war. When the album starts with fucking bombs hitting and people screaming and then it goes in with a fucking drum fill and then the screaming and holy shit. Intensity, pure aggression. Fucking intensity. Death from above. Dun, 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 dun. Every song catchy. Every song is moshable. This is one of the heaviest albums they've done. It's one of the most intense albums they've done. It's like 38 minutes, maybe less, 35 minutes of just pure aggression. This is war in an album. The, if, if someone says, what's war? You throw Sabaton away and then you play them this. This is fucking warfare. Pure fucking brutality, sheer fucking intensity, the entire way through from when you press play. It blew my mind. This is easily the best Marduk album. No fucking questions. So that was my list for my favorite Marduk albums. Let me know down below what's your favorite. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Do you like some of the, do you like Victoria? Let me know down below and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.